I'm exploring parts of Southeast Asia where the ride-hailing giant Grab is everywhere you look. Grab is headquartered in Singapore. It offers ride-hailing and logistics services throughout Southeast Asia, which boasts a total population of more than 600 million. One of its biggest businesses here is ride-sharing on motorbikes, a common mode of transportation in many parts of the region. In major cities like Bangkok and Jakarta, traffic can be quite intense, and motorbikes allow you to save time. Grab was started in 2012 with just 10 employees. Today, it has more than 3,000. This is its new headquarters in Singapore, supporting the growth of a company that now claims more than 4 million daily rides. Grab spans Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines, Thailand, Myanmar, and Cambodia. The company was started by Anthony Tan, the son of a family that operates a Nissan distributor in Malaysia. Tan came up with the company during his time studying at Harvard Business School and launched it with his former classmate Tan Hui Ling. We actually serve more than 2.4 million drivers uh, and we're continuously growing because we've only been here for five years. In Indonesia, which has a total population of more than 250 million alone, Grab competes with homegrown tech company Gojek. One driver I met says he likes to switch between driving on Grab and Gojek, but he said many drivers like Uber specifically for its surge pricing. My drive right now here in Indonesia is about 20 minutes and on the Grab app that's going to cost about two US dollars. Grab is venturing beyond ride sharing adding bike sharing to its portfolio, and recently scaling its payments platform, GrabPay, and even launching Grab Financial, in which it will offer loans and insurance.